Hey everyone, this is just a quick tutorial on how to directly connect two Xbox One consoles with an Ethernet cable to use the new LAN feature that was recently added to Halo the Master Chief Collection. If you've already connected two Xbox Ones together with an Ethernet cable, you're probably seeing something like this. You launch the game, you change your network to LAN, and you can see the LAN game, but whenever you try to join the game, it just says joining player in the corner and eventually comes up with an error message. This happens because when you directly connect two Xbox One consoles with an Ethernet cable, the two consoles are the only things on the network, which means that there is not a DHCP server to assign IP addresses to the consoles. 343 Industries has stated that the Master Chief Collection requires all Xbox One consoles to have an IP address. So in order to fix this, we need to manually assign each of the Xbox One consoles an IP address. So on the, on the first console, you want to open the Xbox Settings app and choose Network. Next, you want to go to Advanced Settings and you will see that the Xbox has given itself a private IP that starts with 169.254. The Master Chief Collection needs a real IP, so we will need to manually set an IP. So choose IP Settings and then Manual. And here, we don't need anything fancy, so just a valid IP address. So just type all ones. For the subnet mask, just type 255 and then press the right bumper to jump to the next octets and fill the rest with zeros. For the gateway, just type 1.1.1.1. We don't need DNS, so we can just press the menu button two times to skip through primary and secondary DNS. After a few seconds, we should see our new set network settings pop up, which confirms that we have given the first Xbox One a valid IP address. For the second console, we need to do basically the same thing, except we need to give it a different IP address than the first console. So on the second console, go to the network settings again, go to advanced settings, and then IP settings, and then manual. For the IP address, we're just going to use the same one as the first one, except at the very end, we're going to make the last number a 2. That way the IP addresses are different. For the subnet mask, we're going to use 255.0.0.0 again. It's important that the subnet mask is the same as the first Xbox. For the gateway, just type 1.1.1.1. And again, we don't need DNS, so we can just press the menu button two times to skip through primary and secondary DNS. After a few seconds, we should see our new network settings pop up, which confirms we have given the second Xbox a valid IP address. And now we can jump back to the game, open the roster, join player, and we can see that the LAN is working now. So remember that once you're done connecting two Xbox Ones together and you unplug the Ethernet cable, if you're going to go back to your regular network, you're going to want to go back and set the IP and DNS settings to automatic. Thanks everybody.